Thank you, everybody. Thank you, His Excellency Bishop Bowie, Senator Dedda. To my brothers and sisters that are here tonight, my name is Mark Arabo. I've been the national spokesperson for the Iraqi Christian genocide. And I, like you, have come today to join in solidarity together as one big family to say that this genocide against Christians, against our community, against the Yazidis as well, needs to end. We stand shoulder by shoulder, hand by hand, foot by foot. And it's not one person's journey. It's not myself or the senator, it's all of us. Everything that everything that you have done with social media, with your shares, your tweets, your likes, you guys are the reason why we've come so far. This journey started nine weeks ago. And it started with a hope and a one ticket, uh, ticket to Washington, D.C. A hope that lives on today and a hope that will never die. And that hope is, let's save the minorities and the Christians in Iraq. And let's do everything we can to do so. We passed House Resolution 683, which reaffirmed our commitment to minorities in the Middle East. Last week, myself and Bishop Jamor, our His Excellency Bishop Sarhad, and Bishop Francis from the East, and delegates from Michigan, we went to, to the United Nations. We went to 12 different member states of the UN and asked them to offer these folks a home, offer them a chance to live, offer them a chance for life. And what we got last week, we were able to get the United Nations to send $600 million in humanitarian aid. $600 million for our people, for our people that are dying. $600 million to give hope. What we also did last week, we were able to get France and Australia and now Sweden to open their doors. France, Australia, and Sweden are offering a home for our brothers and sisters. Every generation, there's a defining moment for every community. This is our moment. This is our time to help as much as we can, work as much as we can, write letters to the White House, to the UN, to your members of Congress, and talk to every single person you can. I challenge every single one of you here tonight. Every one of you should talk to five people tonight about this Christian genocide. Talk to five people tomorrow about how they could help. Talk to five people the day after tomorrow to see what they could do. The world community needs to act. And we will not stop our journey until we save every single person that's stranded in Iraq. Because just like they're your brothers there, they're our brothers. And this bloodshed for our community, for my community, for your community, has to stop. We need to offer them a home. And we're going to do everything we can. We're talking to Canada. We're talking to the United States of America. We're talking to Austria, to the Netherlands, to Denmark, to Spain, to Italy. We need to find a home. And we're not going to stop. But we cannot do it alone. One person or one group can't do it alone. We are nothing without our community, without your support. You are what drives us every single day. Your compliments, your pushing, you calling your members of Congress, people from the United Nations, that's what we need. When I was in New York last week with Bishop Sarhad and Bishop Francis, Bishop Sarhad did an amazing job. We're proud to have him as our bishop because what he did is he gave hope. We met with the highest folks at the United Nations. And I can tell you, when I went to the Statue of Liberty, I saw a little sign on the, on the statue that, till today, is in my heart. The land of opportunity America, it says to us, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free. Give me your folks that need help, America. So today I call on every single American and to the conscience of the American people, my fellow Americans, open your doors, open your hearts, open your minds to these crimes against genocide. Let's save this community. Let's save them and do what we can 
every single day. We've made a journey, not of my journey, it's your journey. It's our journey, together. And I promise you, we will not give up, we will not stop, we're going to do everything we can, from early morning to late night, until every single person, every single one of the 400,000 brothers and sisters are safe, we can hold them and hug them and offer them a chance for life. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.